What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Cool Nerd Show. As always, I'm Steve Trezza, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Flash, Season 3, Episode 6, entitled Shade. So we got a couple different stories this episode, and the main story we have was Wally keeps having visions of Kid Flash from his life on the uh, alternate timeline, the Flashpoint timeline, and Alchemy is trying to draw him towards him uh, to, so that he can give him back this ability. Um, the other stories we got, Shade is the villain, he's kind of this one-off villain. Nothing nothing really came of what happened from him. And then we see that Caitlyn is still battling with herself as Killer Frost is trying to manifest in her. Those are the main storylines that we got this episode. So it looks like the season is starting to get in that season-long story arc, because it's starting to establish alchemy a little bit more, as all the other CW Flarrowverse shows are doing as well with the exception of legends of tomorrow and going back on what i was talking about before with shade as the villain he was just kind of a plot device to move the plot during this episode he had like two scenes and then they found out that they slowed his powers down with light gary slapped the gauntlets on him and that was that now there's some things i liked about the episode some things i didn't like and there's some things that you may have missed that i'm going to be talking about also so so Caitlyn finally comes out as a metahuman to Cisco, and then Cisco initially lies to her and tells her that, that no, she's not going to turn evil and everything's going to be fine. I think he does this just because he doesn't really know how to tell her. Eventually, the truth does come out later in the episode, and we are going to get Killer Frost next episode. I don't think that they're going to kill her character, but who knows? Um, as I've said before, Caitlyn's kind of been... Kind of like the third wheel this season. She hasn't really interacted with any other characters. So if it does happen, I can see it being kind of shocking. But I wouldn't necessarily be 100% surprised. But I think that they're just going to have her kind of gain control of her powers next week. And then she'll just be a, a good guy. Either that or she might even lose her powers in some way by some science magic. And speaking of science magic, one of the things that I really disliked about this episode was that Wells face changer BS thing. First off, it's a little weird that there's this that he just happens to have this face changer thing. But what's really stupid was the fact that they wanted to use Tom Cavanaugh in the scene. So he does this men in blackish type flash thing that makes everyone see his original face, but everyone who he didn't flash sees his his partner back from Earth 19. What the hell was that? That was the stupidest thing ever. Um I just thought that that was really dumb. I thought why not just use that on another actor? Um, just because they wanted to use Tom Cavanaugh in that scene, which it, it didn't really make that big of a difference. I, I don't know. I, I just I didn't like this at all. I thought it was just unneeded and dumb. Let me know what you guys thought about that in the comments. And so to keep Wally from from getting his powers because Alchemy is the one that's calling out to him, they lock him up inside the pipeline. And then as everyone goes to the movie, Iris and Barry left to look at after him. Barry has to go fight the meta. So then Iris lets Wally out because he was kind of like, get knocked unconscious or she sees that he's suffering. I thought that that was kind of stupid because you just, you know what's going to happen. But then something surprising happened and Irish gave him a, a solid right hook and knocked him on his ass and threw him in, back into the pipeline. I didn't see that coming. So I guess it wasn't as bad after that, that happened. I thought it was just going to be that dumb, like, oh no, you're hurt. And then she lets him out and then that's how he goes to alchemy. But that's not what we got. Now the rest of the team found out that Caitlyn is turning into Killer Frost and Barry does have that sit down talk with her. And she looks kind of pissed off after Barry had told her that this isn't the story that happened back on the original timeline and he's the one that messed everything up. So I think this is going to kind of be her drive. She's going to put the blame on Barry next week when she turns into evil Killer Frost. Look for that to happen. I'm, I'm doubling down on that. I think that's definitely going to happen. Now we just released a Who is Alchemy video and we are definitely standing by it. And in order to talk about what I want to talk about, I'm going to have to ruin that video right now. So if you want to watch that video first, go on over there, head on over to it, watch it, and then come back. If not, and you just, you don't, you want to be spoiled, you don't care, I'm going to spoil it right now. So are you ready? Okay. So we said that Julian is going to be Alchemy. Um, and originally his name was Julian Dorn, and then they changed it to Julian Albert. Alchemy's real name in the comics is Albert Desmond. Julian Albert, Albert Desmond. There you go. He has a split personality disorder. So his one side doesn't know about his other side. That is what we think is going to happen with Alchemy. Now to me, this makes even more sense than when we made that video because one, he turned down the offer to go to the park with Barry and his friends saying that he had to go meet his girlfriend, which is this is the first time we're ever hearing about it. Who knows, because if it's the split personality thing, then that might not be in effect. Maybe he does subconsciously know or he knows he doesn't want to admit he also is alchemy or maybe he just is alchemy and and he's and he knows it and he's coherent of it 
And number two, the dead giveaway was when they were going after Alchemy, he wasn't in. Barry just said that he's, he's out sick. He tried calling his cell. He didn't come in today. Um, that is basically just a giveaway that that is him. And in the past, The Flash has been really true to the comic book origins of these villains. In season one, we had Eobard Thawn as the reverse Flash. However, it wasn't really Eobard Thawn, it was Dr. Wells, but he was Eobard Thawn. Um, in season two, we had Hunter Zolomon as Zoom, but it wasn't really Hunter Zolomon, it was Jay Garrick. Now, we have Albert Desmond is going to be Alchemy, but it's not really going to be Albert Desmond, it's going to be Julian Albert. So that's what I think. Um, please, if you if you still want to, we go in a little bit more in detail. If you want to check out the video, head on over there. Um, one more thing, the stinger at the end, we finally got Savitar. Um, he looked interesting. That's all I'm really going to say. I don't really know because it was just a, an end stinger, but I can't wait to see what happens next week. It looks like that Barry can see him because he got hit with the crystal and no one else can see him. Um, that's kind of what I'm taking away from this. Oh, and one more thing before I sign out, Carlos Quindy had commented on one of our other videos, asked for a shout out. So I'm going to shout out his channel. Go over, check it out. It's called Drath Killer. It looks like he does some uh, Let's Play videos. Drath Killer with uh, K-I-L-L-A. So head on over there and check it out. And thank you, Carlos, for watching. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought of the episode in the comments below. Please, uh, do you think that Julian Albert is alchemy do you think that wally's gonna get his speed powers back what do you think is gonna happen to caitlin frost's killer snow next week is she gonna die is she gonna leave is she gonna get control of her powers and stay on the team sound off in the comments below please if you haven't already like and favorite this video head on over to our channel cool nerd show and subscribe and check out all of our other videos over on our channel thanks for watching i'll see you guys over there